It's day two in Yogyakarta, and I'm off to see the largest Buddhist temple in the world, Borobudur. Wow, I'm excited, and I can't wait to showcase the temple for you. Towards the evening, I dine at the house of Remington, Yogya's famous restaurant, specifically so I can sample the famous good egg dish. Stay tuned for another exciting episode, and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my exciting journey. Good morning everybody, day two today of Yogyakarta. I quickly switched on my camera just to show you guys. It's not even 6 a.m. yet and there's people everywhere. Like, there's, uh, I think that's like a, a good egg store. Mm. Uh, traditional uh, Indonesian cooking. Like p people are out and about already. Like people are eating. It's not even 6 a.m. This is the other end. I've got a, uh, I've just kind of stepped out of my hotel and I've got, a, uh, I've got a tour today to Borobudur, which is the biggest Hindu temple in the world. So I'm going there, but I thought I'd just come out and get a, grab a quick coffee or something. But there's people everywhere already. Commotion. People on bikes. These people don't sleep. Here I am like a zombie. And people are already awake. Salama Paggy. Here I am at the top of the Borobudur temple. I've traveled here from Yogyakarta city, Malyaboro region. Uh, I paid $17 for the transport, approximately $40 for zero for Australian dollars in order to enter the temple, have a guided tour. They give you a free pair of sandals and you get to go to the top as well, which is where we are now amongst the stupas so basically what you can do is you can come to the temple and walk around the bottom lower level ground and I think that's about $20 Australian but if you've come all this way it's really worth coming up here and seeing the stupas up the top and this area is actually called Nirvana after the last uh, level of enlightenment and there's the biggest stupa right behind me we're not allowed up there, that's only for the monks. It's well worth the, the trip out here. It takes about an hour uh, with, a pub, with private transport. You can also catch a shuttle, which is much cheaper. I think that's a few dollars. Uh, so you don't have to pay as much as I did because I, I chose uh, private transportation with air conditioning because it's really hot. But you can get a, a, a public shuttle as well and come out here for cheaper. Unfortunately, the prices to enter into the temple are fixed. So it's about $20 only to have access to the bottom layer and about $40 to be able to come up here and be amongst these amazing stupas. Inside each of these stupas uh, is a Buddha. So if we look or peer into the holes that uh, exist within the stupas, there's a Buddha in there. In the background, there's awesome scenery uh, mountain villages. No Buddhists live in this area anymore. Uh, the guide said that 
all of the surrounding villages now are either uh, Muslim, Christian, and or, or non or of no religion. So uh, there's no Buddhists in the area anymore. Yet this amazing structure still stands today uh, after it underwent a UNESCO heritage reconstruction, and they actually took each one of these stones away and mark them and put them down uh, somewhere safe and then they rebuilt this place with uh, a new infrastructure in order to kind of uh, ensure that it's around for many generations to come and there was about 600 workers apparently according to the guide and that took a long while in order to kind of reconstruct this place but now it's here it's been reconstructed they've actually used uh, new materials as well like cement and they've reconstructed the whole place and here it is for us to enjoy I'm gonna tour around Nirvana and if I see anything good I'll get that on footage for you if not I'll see you guys soon but definitely worth checking out here at Borobudur Temple interesting place This is a bit of a stone graveyard here in the Borobudur Museum. I think all these stones were taken off out of the temple at some stage and laid to rest here and may have been replaced or maybe they don't serve a purpose anymore but look around me, it's like a stone graveyard. We are leaving now, the temple tour is finished and we're walking through the grounds back to the transport. There's a museum here as well which hopefully we'll have time to have a look at uh, we've got about half an hour left before the driver takes off back to Yogyakarta. The gardens are quite pleasant and they're very big as well but it's the good thing about this place is it's very controlled and there's a lot of people around that guide you how to get up onto the temple, how to get down, how to get back to the car park so you can't get lost and there's also signs everywhere as well been a good morning so far I think a four or five hour tour or half day tour is is enough down this neck of the woods uh, it's good you can get back freshen up and then get something to eat and then have a look around Yogyakarta again can't do without the sugarcane juice this is a bit like an ad now get your sugarcane juice it gives you good energy saw the young lady there selling it I thought there's someone that we can help very entrepreneurial with a little machine there but uh, coming out of that place was a bit of a maze they push you through these markets it's a bit of a tourist trap coming out there's people coming in from left and right saying hey buy this buy that but look they're, they're okay you just say no but it's, it gets a bit annoying but I choose to buy a sugar cane juice. Korea! Woo! Korea over here! <laughs> I'm at the house of rum in ten. Uh, this particular place has been recommended by the uh, the tourist bureau here in the uh, Yogyakarta. I popped in there yesterday and had a chat with them to get an understanding of where there is traditional and well-respected good egg, which is the local dish that Yogyakarta is famous for, and at the same time, good quality Indonesian food. And they recommended this place. Very kind of bohemian you know there's statues of jesus and uh you know there's their mascot the mascot was, was a, a, a cross dresser and it's very very different but um there's a traditional setting where people are eating on the floor behind me and over here but there's also a table so i much prefer a table because i'm a bit bigger and i can't sit down with my legs crossed for too much so i've ordered the, uh, I've ordered the good egg and I've ordered like a just a side dish which is probably more than a side dish it's, and it's got uh, rice and uh, a few other condiments around the side 
and that was 73,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is probably $7. So you're dining in for about $7, which is pretty good. Uh, no taxes, no surcharges, no upsells. This is Yogyakarta's national dish or provincial dish. It's got an egg. And ayam, which is chicken. Spicy ayam. Tastes like it's been cooked in cocoa. Not a bad introduction to good egg. It's pretty good. Alrighty, I'm here in Yogyakarta. Just finished up at the house of Rowington. Had a great meal for about $7 Australian. I can't believe that. I dined in at one of the biggest restaurant institutions in Yogyakarta, had their provincial dish and more. I had like two or three dishes and I paid $7 Australian, wow. And these people are making profit. Uh, just kind of puts life into perspective for you. What a world we live in. Enjoying some scenes behind me. Seems to be a river that flows through Yogyakarta, Malyaboro, Jalan Malyaboro. The main street is just over there. I'm walking back. Elections coming up, so there's flags everywhere. Look, this is this city is really pretty and it's really good. Is it on the map yet? I don't know. I don't really know anyone that goes to Yogyakarta, do you? I'm not seeing many Westerners here. Nor am I seeing any YouTubers. I don't know, maybe it doesn't have the appeal to most people from the West, but I think it's, this place is lovely. <laughs> I think this place is great. It's cheap, people are friendly, it's safe, it's picturesque. What else do you want? Do you want to go somewhere and get ripped off? Do you want to go somewhere and have people not even say hello to you? Like I'm standing here and people are beeping the horn as they go past and saying hi. Isn't that what the average person wants when they go on holiday? Isn't, don't they want to feel good? I don't know. People travel for different reasons, I guess. I'm going to keep walking. I'm heading to the main strip now. It's time for dessert, my favourite time of the day. I'm back at the hotel now guys, it's been a big day, Borobudur in the morning, followed by the House of Rummington in the afternoon, then I took a stroll along Jalan Malyaboro, Malyaboro Street, and after finishing my dessert, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody. I hope you're enjoying the journey with me so far. We're currently in Yogyakarta, but our adventures have not yet finished here. There is still more to explore, so stick with me. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos, and also want to give a big thanks to everybody else who's been following me on the journey so far and to the subscribers. You guys have been fantastic. I have been overwhelmed by all of your support so far. Stick with me. The journey continues and a big adios from the Hussmeister. See you soon.